Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined this morning with my daughter. Hi, I'm Rowan. T together, we're going to address another child's question. But before we do that, let's take a moment in prayer. Our Father, thank you for this opportunity to spend in thy word. We pray for your Holy Spirit to guide us in truth. And I pray that uh, we would see clearly and understand it and that uh, would answer the question that we have at this moment. And I pray that uh, we would be satisfied with your answer and not man's answers. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So what's your question? What does it mean to be born again? Very good question, because it, it seems to be a very popular phrase, especially among Christians. Uh, you know, they say, are you born again? Are you born again? And uh, what does it really mean? Because in all honesty, the vast majority of Christians don't even know what born again means. They just think it's a title to wear, and it's not. So what we're going to do is go to the book of John. That's uh, the large book named John, as in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we're going to read out of chapter 3, uh, verses 3 to 7, in which uh, uh, Jesus is speaking to Nicodemus. So John chapter 3, verses 3 to 7. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Um, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say un said unto thee, ye must be born again. So clearly Jesus is teaching that we need to be born again. But the average Christian will stop there and think that as long as you have the Holy Spirit, that's all that matters, that you are born again. But again, what does it really mean? So we have established that born again is a Christian experience. So what we're going to do now is go to 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5 and we're going to read verse 18. First John 5:18. We now know that whosoever is born of God sinneth him not sin um but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. Okay, so uh, if you're born again, you sin not. In other words, you don't sin. And the confirmation of this, if we back up just a couple verses, uh, to chapter 3, verse 9. So stay in First John, chapter 3, and verse 9. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin, because he is born of God. So, again, a person that is born of God does not sin. It's not that they uh, don't have the capability. It's that they, it, when they have a choice to make, they're like Joseph, who was very well tempted, and he yelled, how can I commit such a great sin against God? In other words, when we see sin, we're going to hate it and not want to be part of it. So true born-again Christians avoid sinning. The Ten Commandments is what tells us what the sins happen to be. And so therefore, if we're not sinning, we are actually keeping the Ten Commandments. Well, let's get another verse on this. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 1. And we're going to read verse 23. 
So 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. So the word of God would actually um, be abiding in us. That means we would actually study the word of God on a regular basis. And that is what the born again experience will be. So if you have no desire to spend time every single day in the word of God, you're not really born again. If you are living in sin and enjoying the sins that the world has to offer, you're not born again. So a born again person is going to want to spend time with God every day in his word and avoid all sinning. And by the grace of God, what seems to be impossible for us is made possible by God. And God help us to actually avoid sinning. That's what it means to be born again. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you so very much for this time to have spent with you. Thank you for giving us the answer. Help us to live by that answer. And I pray that we would represent the true born-again experience. Help us, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen.